Anthropic has been on a tear this year. Just yesterday, they released Claude Sonnet 3.5. This is their first release in the forthcoming Claude 3.5 model family. This is basically their best model, and in my opinion, it's actually the best model that's out there at this current moment. It's something that even surpasses GPT-4 Omni, which is just absolutely amazing to see. We can see in the benchmark test that Claude 3.5 outperformed its predecessor, Claude Opus, and this is where it even surpassed GPT-4 Omni on various benchmarks. It even outperforms Llama's 400 billion parameter model and Gemini 1.5 Pro. Now, you can see that it does quite exceptionally well in mathematics, reasoning, code, and something cool to note is that it's even quite proficient in the state-of-the-art vision. This is where they've incorporated this within the Sonnet model. Now, in my opinion, I think it's time for me to start up my subscription for Claude once again, because they are absolutely killing it. Take a look at how coding with Claude 3.5 Sonnet is 10 times more efficient than GPT-4 Omni or any other large language model. In this case, we're creating a snake game in React, and this is where they've released this new artifact feature where you can generate and run code next to your chat and it's going to provide an amazing user experience now this game was something that was created within a couple seconds and it's something that generates better in terms of code in comparison to gpt4 omni oh and you can retroactively work with the anthropic model to enhance your code you can see that you added another gradient to the background as well as an emoji now let me just showcase the new artifact feature once again this is another example of Claude Sonnet 3.5 explaining how back propagation works and this is with animations. It's going to be able to showcase this within the new artifact feature and this is something that Anthropic released and it makes its chatbot experience way more interactive and it's something that will give you a visual description of what the AI is working on. You can see that this was something that has been animated on the right hand side with the new artifact feature. Now, this is just absolutely amazing, and it's something that we're going to be uncovering throughout today's video as we showcase tests, exploring the model, and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned, and let's get straight into the video. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Anthropic Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. Now, Anthropic has been killing it. Recently this year, they released the Claude 3 family, and this is where they released three models under that. The Haiku, Sonnet, and Opus models. The Opus model was something that was exceptional in various ways, where it was something that excelled in various evaluations, including graduate level reasoning and coding proficiency. But now we have the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, which is their middle tier model that excels even further than the Opus model. This is just a 3.5 version they plan on releasing the Claude 4 family, which is something that is probably going to be released later this year. But for this new model, it is exceptional in terms of its performance. It even outpaces GPT-4 Omni, and it is able to even outperform it in mostly every benchmark. There is certain benchmarks that it is losing against the GPT-4 Omni model, but in most cases, it's doing exceptionally well. It leads you to wonder, how amazing is the Claude 3.5 Opus model, or even the Claude 4 model? This is something that I'm really interested in seeing, and it's something that will be released this year for sure. This is a model that is two times the speed of its predecessor, which was the Opus model. And something to note is that it solves 64% of problems in internal coding evaluations, which is something that is really tough for any model. It showcases that its ability to write, edit, and execute code independently is making it ideal for updating legacy applications, as well as migrating code bases. This is something that is amazing to see for such a model and it's just great to see that we're seeing AI slowly but surely taking over so many roles that you would see a human do. The Claude 3.5 Sonnet model is actually their best vision model and it's something that even revivals against Gemini's 1.5 Pro model and it even beats 
the GPT-4 Omni model in terms of vision. It's the best vision model that's out there that excels in visual reasoning tasks like interpreting charts as well as graphs and it can accurately transcribe text from imperfect images. This is something that was like lackluster with many different models but we're seeing that this capability is crucial for industries like retail, logistics as well as financial services where AI can extract more insights from images, graphics and illustrations from text way better than any other model that's out there. And this is something that they've been developing over the years and they finally came to a point where that it is able to perform this task so much better than anything that has ever been able to do something like this. Just take a look at this video which will explain how well the Claude 3.5 Sonnet vision model is. Something cool to know is that the Claude 3.5 Sonnet is now available for free on the Claude AI. So you can actually access this completely for free. And I'll leave a link to this in the description below. You can also access this on the Claude iOS app, which is completely for free. But if you are to utilize the Claude Pro and the team plan subscribers, you can access it with significantly higher rate limits, meaning that it's going to be able to allow you to get more of a larger context window. And it's something that you can access with Anthropics API, Amazon Bedrock, and Google Cloud's Vertex AI. It's currently priced at $3 million per input tokens and $15 per million output tokens with a 200k token context window. Next up is the artifacts on Cloud AI, which is a feature that allows users to see, edit, and build on generative AI content like code, text documents, as well as website designs in real time. This is a dynamic workspace that is going to mark Claude's shift from a conversational AI to a collaborative work environment with future plans to support team collaboration as well as a centralized organizational knowledge, document, and projects app. This is something that is insane to see and I definitely love Anthropic for some, working on something like this because it's quite innovative and it's something that we've never seen with other enterprise brands that are focusing on AI development. And in this case, I want you guys to watch this video so you get a better idea as to what you can do with Anthropic's artifact feature.
Now, this is a great timeline, which is showcasing AI model releases and capabilities. And we can see that there's Claude, GPT, and Gemini. All three have been doing insanely well over the past two years. And huge props to GPT-4, obviously, the OpenAI team, for basically leading the way for such a long time. But we can see over the past two years, Anthropic has been working its hardest to release models. And we can see, it, finally, it is the first ranking model of all time at the moment now i definitely recommend that you take a look at the technical report because there's a lot more information on this model i will also leave a link to the documentation so that you can reference the apis and get started with this model right away now you can access this like i said before through cloud.ai completely for free but if you have the subscription you're going to be able to access the larger context window and better generation so i definitely recommend that you sign up with an account with Claude. And I'll leave a link to all of this in the description below as well as the blog post. But that's basically for today's video on Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I plan on making another video that is going to showcase the detailed test of this model where I showcase full test of it. So with that thought guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value. Huge props to the Anthropic team for releasing such an amazing model. But with that thought guys, make sure you follow me on the Patreon page because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas